What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you a few different techniques on how you can import a signature into your designs. So this may be not what you're expecting from a video from me but uh, I thought it's quite a useful technique and there are many things that you can include it into just to make your designs look a bit more professional should we say um, and it's quite simple so yeah that's about it guys I hope you enjoy the video thank you for the support and let's get straight into it. First things first, you want to know what we're using for this. So there's a few different things you can use to get these uh, these signatures in your designs. So first one being number one, which is Photoshop. So Photoshop we use all the time. You can cut the signature out from an image and use it. Simple. Second one being Illustrator. So Illustrator does an image trace, which is something that you can just uh, let it do itself. It will literally do it all for you. And then you will have the uh, the signature to use. Just copy and paste it from Illustrator and then it will go straight into your design. Perfect. All done. So those are the two techniques we're going to look at today. Uh, I will be showing you how I do it later on in the video. But first I'm going to show you how I find the images and how I get to, well, get to the point where I need to actually do something with the image to get the signature onto my design. So let's move on to that. So first things first, you're just going to want to basically open up Google and we're just going to search for any signature of any player you want. So for now, we could just do someone who's really famous. So like Ronaldo, uh, just type in Ronaldo signature. So there's going to be a lot of images of this and there's going to be a lot of different images. So you want to make sure that you have a look through them and look which one's the most consistent. So which ones, because some of them will be probably fake or maybe just redone by someone else. But if you look at the consistency between the different ones and you find one that's like this, like a white background, Background, or you might have actually find one that's already cut out for you. So this is a, a real positive. All you need to do is download this, then you can drop it into your design and you'll be done. But we're not doing that today. So if there isn't one of these, you're going to have to find an image like this probably or something a bit of a higher quality. So the difference is Illustrator can use low quality ones and Photoshop, you'll need a high quality one to cut it out. Obviously, we could use something like this um, something like this, but Mm, not great um, even something like this really like that might not be real but it's just a good example this one's quite good here so we can cut this one out and it'll be quite nice so simple as we will download this one and that's it you need that's all you need to do for the searching bit you can um, look through more and obviously get different ones and try different ones out if this doesn't work we can find a different one but I think it's gonna work so let's move on to the next okay bit. guys so once you have found the image or the signature that you need you're just gonna want to download that image obviously as I said before and then you're gonna have to drop it into Photoshop or Illustrator so first things first we're gonna use Illustrator now, if you don't have Illustrator and you only have Photoshop, then I recommend you can you can still watch this video because it might be helpful in the future if you ever have Illustrator. But obviously, the Photoshop bit will come at the end. So if you want to skip through this bit, then that's fine. Moving on to the Illustrator bit. Okay, guys. So first things first, we're in Illustrator. I know this is a completely different program to what we usually use. So obviously, it might look a little bit different from now. Um, but it, trust me, it's the same thing. It's not very hard to use and uh, you should be able to use it fine. So first things first, we're going to drop our image in, which I've already done. So we've got it here and then what we're going to do you're going to see this once you've selected the image You're going to see this bar along the top and it should say image trace What you're going to do is click this and it will change it to black and white and it will turn it all into a vector As you'll see if I click it now let it do its work and then it will do this So obviously you can see it's changed it to black and white and just a vector But as you can see it's kept the signature So what we need to do now is click expand on the top left here again And now it has expanded it into all these different shapes So what we need to do now is we need to double click on it and we can zoom in for this and we just need to go and select all the bits of the signature it's going to be split up into different bits so like this so we just go here and then we can select that uh, and then get that bit as well and then we can just go command C double click out of this so if we just zoom out double click out off it somewhere go to the side and then go command V there we go we got our signature now this is not the most clean way to do it so it's not exactly how it was but it's the closest thing you're going to get to a good signature and this way it'll look really clean and nice on the design um, and it'll be a nice vector form so all you need to do with this is just copy it uh, so command C and then go over to Photoshop so if I go over to Photoshop now maybe just open up this picture of LeBron I have and then all you're going to need to do is go command V 
smart object and then click OK and then you have a signature there and then you just click OK and then it'll add it in for you. It's as simple as that really guys. That's all you need to do for the Illustrator one. Nothing, uh, nothing too complicated. It's really simple. So that's all we need to do for the Illustrator. Now I'm going to move on to the next bit which is going to be the Photoshop bit. Okay guys, so hopefully you enjoyed the uh, Illustrator bit. As I said, really simple to do, not very hard. Does just takes a few different um, skills in illustrator literally two clicks of a button and you're done uh, and that's about it guys so moving on to the second version which is photoshop now we're going to use quick selection and maybe a pen tool to cut it out but that's completely up to you on which one you prefer so let's get on to that okay guys so now we're in photoshop so this looks a bit more user friendly something that we're a bit more used to so what i've done is i've dropped the image into photoshop and um, as you all know how to do and now as you can see, I've zoomed in onto where the signature is. Now, if you are lucky, this uh, the quick selection tool will be suffice for this, but you might need to use the pen tool. So the pen tool is gonna give you a more accurate cut and the quick selection is just gonna give you a rough outline. So what we're gonna do, select our quick selection tool up here on the left, and we're gonna just go over, make it small, and then just click on the bits that are white of the signature and basically just hope that um, the quick selection tool picks up the uh, shape of the uh, signature just so that we don't have to overdo it uh, with the pen tool. But I will show you both ways just uh, just to be uh, safe so you guys know what you're doing. So as you can see, if I just fill in the areas, eventually um, quick selection tool sort of picks it up itself. Pretty simple. And this, this does help if you have a higher quality image. But even as you can see, I've got a quite a low quality image here and it's still doing half the job for me. So it's nothing... Uh, too serious it's quite actually quite simple as you can see there we have basically got the whole signature selected so what do we do now we go right click and then we go layer via copy and now we've got the signature cut out so if I turn this off there you go there's the signature yes it may not look great so what we're going to do is double click on it and we're going to go to color overlay and then what we're going to do is just change this to a white and then obviously you can't, well, you can see it just on the background, but if I just change this to a black or a blue, there you go. We've got the signature, but we've got it with all the texture that had on the actual um, image that we cut it from. So it's got a nice little um, stroke outline on the edge here with the pen and the texture and everything. So this is the second best way of doing it. So um, it's not going to be perfect like the uh, Illustrator one that I showed you previously, but it, it's a really good second option if you don't have illustrator it's, it's not hard to use as you can just see i've just clicked about a few bits on the signature and then cut it out this is one way of doing it so i'm going to show you the way with the pen tool now it's going to be exactly the same just going to take a little bit more time going around the edges and cutting it out so let's move on to that okay guys so we're back where we started we just need to get the pen tool which is on top left here change this from shape to path and then what we're going to do is zoom in even more and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and cut out the shape so this is going to be a bit more of a long-winded pro process um you may find it a little bit boring but trust me it will give you a good result in the long run so as you can see i'm just cutting out the areas which i think need cutting out um and then I'm just going around playing around with the pen tool, pulling it to angles which I feel look realistic for the signature. But um, obviously this is personal preference and you can cut as much out as you want. So let me just get on with this. Obviously guys, if you don't know how to use the pen tool, there is a tutorial on my channel. It's probably one of my first videos I ever made. Um, so yeah, you can do that um, if you don't know how to use it because it's one of the most handy tools that you can probably use in Photoshop. So I would recommend learning it. So there's our first little stroke outline. Now we're gonna do our second one. But yeah, as I was saying guys, you can do a lot with the pen tool. Cut a lot of different things out. I usually use it to cut um, my player images out. So as you can see, you get a really accurate cut. So if you were using something like um, quick selection, you wouldn't get such freedom on uh, what you wanna cut out and what you want to keep in. Realistically, this is the best option you can use. So. As you can see, I've done this fairly quick. It doesn't take too long, but as long as you get an accurate cut, that's all that matters. So let's get this little bit in the middle here. And also guys, if you don't have this uh, little green or whatever color, it would be blue for you probably, like rubber band following you around, all you need to do is go up to this cog here, click that, and then click rubber band tick. So you want it on, and then it will uh, be on for you. So you can see where you're cutting, and uh, yeah, it'd be perfect. So let's just quickly do this bit in the inside as well you might miss bits out guys so don't worry just you can just go in and redo them and then we go 
Let's just cut that little bit out there. Perfect. So now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go down to your quick direct selection tool. So it's this white arrow here and you're going to select that one, select that one, hold shift while you're doing this, select that one and select the middle one. So now they're all selected. Now the next, next thing you need to do is go to paths on the right by layers. And now you're going to see this work path. So this is what we've just done with the pen. And we go, go down to the bottom right and see this dotted line circle. Click that. And then as you can see, it turns it into a selection, just like we had before. So now you want to go back to your layers panel, and then we're going to select this layer, our background, go on to the pen tool or the quick selection tool, right click, and then click layer via copy. Now I've got a cutout, and as you can see, we've got our cutout perfect. So what you can do now, again, add a color overlay, and you've got a much more cleaner um, you know, outline of this signature. It looks a lot better, and all you need to do is go Command C, Command V, and drop it into your design. And there you go, you got a nice little signature. So as you can see, guys, that is a really nice clean cutout way of doing it. Um, and then if you really wanted to, you could go on it so you can add, I don't know, an outer glow and then sort of play around with it from there. But that is pretty much what I do with my designs, guys. Um, hopefully you've learned something from this and I'm gonna chuck it back to myself in camera view. So let's go. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video and I hope you have learned something from this. So kind of a different video today, but obviously I don't want to keep it all the same because it will just get boring for you guys. So I like to mix the videos up a little bit, but if you are enjoying these little tutorial videos, then let me know in the comments down below. Obviously go check out the gradient map video we did um, last weekend. That's a really good um, video for you guys and you should be able to learn a lot from it. So now you know how to use gradient maps and now you know how to use signatures and put them in your designs just to make them look a bit more professional. I think I'm doing a good job so far. So thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.